Day turn round. But when we came here, Olga, who invited us, said, sorry. Olga said, please don't just do chemistry. <clears throat> don't just do chemistry, do physics. We have to do some physics. So we're going to do a bit of physics with... What did he say? Oh, thank you. Experiment, and the experiments are coming fast one after the other. And we're going to do now an experiment 
that you must never try at home. Sorry, can I just uh, Are you checking your eBay account, sir? You are, aren't you? You're looking at your eBay account. No, no, you are, I can see. You're bidding on something. Oh, Facebook! Can you make me a Facebook friend, please? No, no, no. It's how it's possible to speak out. And I'll accept a friend request. Not you. Right, okay. Yeah, funny jokes. Right, okay, so, we're going to do an experiment which involves a light bulb. Now, my mother, this is a light bulb. Turn it on, Wayne. Right, you can see the light bulb, alright? Now, you always know that, turn it off now, electricity and water never mix. And so we're going to do one experiment with a light bulb. And I want to show you that liquid nitrogen is very, very inert. Because we can turn our light bulb on in liquid nitrogen. Uh, and as you can see, it glows in liquid nitrogen. Turn it around, please. Alright? Now that's not very interesting. So let me explain while Dave sets the next piece, please. Let me explain about light bulbs. Light bulbs, the old fashioned light bulbs, they work with a finely coiled piece of tungsten. And surrounding the tungsten is a gas like argon, which is inert, because if you heat tungsten up in air, it will react with oxygen. Now here we have a light bulb, which is not... Is, this, is that alright? What do you think it's okay? This is a light bulb without the glass, alright? So, cameraman. Oh. Hello! We're there, look. You see the back of your head? Right, okay. So, we are going to demonstrate that if you put a light bulb tungsten filament into liquid nitrogen and turn it on, it should start to glow. That there is a light bulb without any gas around it, but it's still glowing. But if I take it out of the nitrogen into the air and off, it glows out by itself. Isn't that great? Okay, that looks great. Right, anyway, we need to move ahead now. Now, I need my this experiment. <coughs> right. I'm often told that the best things come in small packages. Mr. Cameraman, we're coming down here. Here, right. Can you all see? Can you see this one? Can you see that? Tweezers. And can you see I've got a gold block here? Can you see that? But it's not gold, it looks gold, okay? Now, we've also got some discs here of yttrium, barium, copper oxide. And Mike, how about Mike, how are you? Very good, very good. Very good. Are you enjoying Russia? Loving it. Yeah. We love Russia. We think Russia is a great place. No, we love Russia. Fantastic place, isn't it? Beautiful city, great science. We're cooling this down to minus 196. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you superconductivity. This is the Meister effect with superconductivity. And right after that, we want to get to the fossil sun. Absolutely. Right, okay. We're nearly there. So, can we get really close in on this, please? Really tight. Is it getting tight, Mike? Let's go. Right, and can you see anything? Yeah. Right, okay. I have here the gold drop, and I'm going to hold it above the yttrium barium copper oxide. And if it works properly, we'll see something that I think is absolutely amazing. Three, two, one. No, that's, that's rubbish. Go on then, put it down. Okay, can you see it? Nice and cold. I tell you what, it's getting cold. It's my knees. I bet, yeah. No, my knees are getting nice and cold. It's using super cool knees. Three, two, one. Can you see that? Can you see it's cold in there? Try and get it nice and tight with the camera there. It's actually hovering in the middle of the air. And when you just push it, it should go on, Mike. Mike's good. Mike knows all about this. Come on, Mike, you can do it. Cool it down. Mike, Mike's so cool, he makes water freeze his fun of you, isn't it? It's a bit limp, isn't it? It's a bit lame. Right, let's just power on to the next thing. Okay, give it up for Mike in the superconductivity please. Now, now, Dave, when we came here, they said, 
We want to see danger. And I can think of no more dangerous thing than what we're about to do next. We are. Because as soon as Mike makes it over to the sound desk, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Because we're going to use this piece of apparatus here that you're all wondering what it's for. Run, Mike, run. Because we need to have the duh duh duh. Because we're going to use two terribly dangerous elements. The first of which, 100 milligrams, can kill a man. Yes, I'm talking about the evil element. I'm talking about red phosphorus! No, it's not actually red phosphorus, it's quite safe. But, we're also going to make for you, in front of your very eyes, we're going to turn the oxygen in the very air we breathe down to minus 180. We're going to make for you a terribly dangerous little blue angel they call liquid oxygen! We need my give it up for fireworks mic. Hello, hello, you wearing a union flag shirt. Hey, hello, old boy, how's it going? Jolly good. What a good cup of tea. Uh, no. uh, where are you? Sorry, sorry, where are you, sir? It's not rings. Right, Mike, what are we going to do? Right, what we're going to do is we're going to pass oxygen gas through a copper coil and we're going to make some liquid oxygen. So, we put the copper coil into this viewer. We're going to need another liquid viewer, which is right here, and this is going to hold the liquid oxygen as we create it. So Dave, start passing the oxygen through. Now, I told you before that liquid nitrogen is at a temperature of minus... What's the temperature of liquid nitrogen, please? Minus 100... Minus 196. Oxygen boils at a temperature of minus 180. So if you blow oxygen to liquid nitrogen, it will turn from a gas into a liquid. And Mike's doing exactly that now. Isn't that great, Mike? Right, now, camera. We get nice and tight on that. Dave, you're going to blow us all up. You can't take Dave anywhere. Now, I hope you can see that there's a liquid developing here. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's not difficult yes. to see, is it? It's right there. Now, what colour is it? Blue. It's blue. blue. Oxygen is one of the very few elements that has colour. It's light blue. Other elements that have colour.